Uh, so I've got Ross Quayle here from Hemro Group, and I've got Ben here from Espresso Company Australia. Just pointed out something really cool about the heritage of Anthem Grinders, man. And while you're here, you've got to try the cannoli. So we're in Italy for Host Milan, and one of the big benefits is that you get to see all the manufacturers uh, of the Italian products, so grinders, coffee machines. Here we are at Hemro. Uh, Hemro do brands like Melconing, Didding, Anthem. Uh, so look, we're excited to get in there, have a look. Uh, come on in, I'll show you around. So we just got here for the uh, factory tour and I've got Ben here from Espresso Company Australia. He just pointed out something really cool about the heritage of Anthem Grinders, man. Talk to me about it. Yeah, so uh, as, you, as you'll see here, you'll see uh, the old uh, badge here. It actually says Anfim uh, with, with the N there. Um, what we're obviously used to seeing now is the Anfim. So uh, where that originated was from the original, um, uh, I guess, creators. Uh, his name, last name was Monfrini. Uh, so he thought he would put his little touch on that. and and change the end to an M. So that's um, some story there about back on the Anfin. Yeah, it's pretty cool to see the heritage and the, and the changes that have happened over time to where we are today. I mean, that's a, tell them the whole story. Set of factories that haven't been here for that long, couple of years, maybe moved in, but the facility is amazing. So clean, crisp, and really organised. You can see all the raw products come on this end, and as we come through, you can see the assembly starting to take place. Uh, over here, we've got the boards and the wiring that um, I don't know how many there is in a row there, it looks like about 30 odd at a time. Obviously, very um, focused around consistency and, and production there. You can check everything in one go rather than doing one at a time. Uh, over here we've got the motors, the housings uh, all running through and the dosing chambers. Then we go into the next um, production area where they're actually inserting the motors uh, and the electronics together in inside the chassis. Um, these look like the new um, lunars possibly that are being made at the moment um, with the grind by weight and new digital screens. You know, each stage, each process obviously has been checked off to make sure the quality control is fantastic and then the next person along the chain puts them all together. Here we seem to be putting the final electronic boards in and, and uh, sealing the units up. And then looks like the grinding mechanisms for the blades to make sure that they're all um, connected and uh, free to turn. Um, the blades around for grind adjustments. Um, we're actually looking now into some Malconing products as well. And the all important around this side, once all these processes happen, it all comes together, is actually uh, assessment and making sure that it actually works. So these guys are down here testing the final products and then they get packaged, shipped out to customers.
Sorry for interrupting. I hope you're enjoying the content and thanks for watching. Have you seen our home barista manual? This thing has everything in it that we talk about through our YouTube channel as a guide that you can use at home and implement simply to make amazing espresso. It doesn't matter if you've got an entry level machine like this or a high end coffee machine from Italy, it's gonna take your espresso to the next level. We cover things like dialing in a specific recipe for your machine, using some of these really cool tools to eliminate uh, channeling and getting better extraction yields. You're gonna be able to learn how to froth silky milk and pour amazing latte art so that you can impress all of your friends. This um, also has how to clean your machine and care and maintenance. The manual's available on our website as a digital download worldwide. Use the code YTBARISTA10 and you'll save 10% off our already discounted price. Do yourself a favor, go and download it now. Uh, so I've got Ross Quayle here from Hemro Group. Uh, mate, can you give us a bit more insight as to what's happening all the way through this factory? It's very impressive, very clean and tidy. Yeah, certainly. So um, if I zoom out a little bit and, and I talk about where we are right now, we're no longer at what we would originally might have called, say, Anfim. We're okay. at Hemro, Italy. Right. Um, so during the pandemic, um, what happened for our business is to look at global supply chain and looking at what we did and how we could ensure that we could diversify our manufacturing to ensure that we could still produce products for our customers. Yep. So what that saw us do, both here in, in Milan, but also in Hamburg, is relocate our factories to larger premises, then look at a multi, multidisciplinary approach to manufacturing so that we, we put the capacity where we could to ensure we would reduce weight times, but also ensure that we could make critical timelines for people to get goods. Mm -hmm. So when we come to the Anfim um, uh, area here specifically, or Hemro, Italy, you have the factory organised in six areas. You have um, inward goods sitting in the first area, then we look at um, uh, QC and warehousing, and then the goods then move through to sub-assembly. After sub-assembly you'll see so these areas being sub-assembly, putting together the motors and things of that nature. After that you look at assembly, then finishing, and then we look at a final areas to do with um, billing and shipping and then uh, goods exiting. Yep. So when, you, when, it, when a piece of good enters the factory, it only ever moves in one direction. This is, creates the efficiencies to ensure that you're not moving backwards and forwards when you're producing goods. You'll even see that replicated on a micro level when you look at the assembly areas here that they will go through and do a fleet of things but everything's done in an order yep. so that you have that economy at each point um, along the way. So. Yeah. All of the Hemro factories um, reflect multi, multi B brand, right? So you've got Ditting and um, our component business, as well as um, Malkunik that's made in Hamburg. Here we make um, uh, obviously Anfim and we also do Malkunik. Um, the new EK Omnia will be made here. Oh, fantastic. And we've also got things like, you know, particular markets like, so the US market with a 110 volt motor we might relocate all of that production here in order to make sure that you know, those, those goods that are particular to one country can be exited and done out in that fashion. Okay. So that just makes for an efficient business. It means that we can keep producing more innovations instead of spending more on products. We can invest more into processes, into people, and obviously making great coffee wherever we can. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, we love, love the range, we love the products, it's awesome. I mean, Anthem's a very key brand for us, for sure. Um, what, what sort of scale, I mean, these brands, where do where, where do Anfim, Malconi kind of sit on the scale of, of grinder manufacturers worldwide? Well, um, it's a difficult thing because I can't say that I've been inside every other manufacturer, but what yes. I do know is that Hemro, the Hemro Group, which is the umbrella, obviously yep. company of the, of the individual brands, is the largest end-to-end -end manufacturer of grinding and grinding equipment globally. Wow. So we have a large, uh, I guess, uh, there's, there's, we have a large footprint that encompasses, obviously we have home grinders, we have um, our what we call our commercial standalone, which is these grinders that you see out here. Yep. And we also have um, our industrial grinders that uh, are primarily produced in, um, in Hamburg, at Hemro Hamburg. Those industrial grinders between Didding and Malkunig basically for those, I guess once a roaster gets to a larger level and they're, they're grinding maybe one ton of coffee a week, yep. but you're not going up to that level of those super large roller mills. Um, and then obviously the component business. So for us, the component business is a significant part of our overall. And I think I wouldn't be too far off by saying that probably the top 10 super automatic 
manufacturers in the world of machines either use our burrs or use our built-in grinders that got within it. So we work with uh, many different businesses mm -hmm. um, to ensure that they have the best quality inbuilt grinders um, with that level of, with that area of innovation. And that's also a, it's an important part of our business, but of a often a, a lesser known part of our business. Yeah. Wow. And most, uh, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but all the burrs and everything are made from scratch. Or yes. From, yeah, 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 from design all the way through, yeah. That's correct. So we do have areas, so our burr manufacturing happens at Hemro Hamburg or yep. Hemro Germany. Uh, and if you get a chance to visit there, you'll see, you know, you'll see rooms probably as big as this would have all the CNC machines and all of that work where we're just getting in giant rods and then basically cutting them down, all done through robots and CNC machines and everything done for precision. So we then, I guess, we ship goods in terms of um, the, the sub-assembly elements between our factories and do the assemblies from there. So certainly a lot of in-house control to ensure that we have the quality control. Yep. And we, we obviously have developed the expertise in all areas. And that's why a lot of our customers, be it components or, or grinders in general, value the products that we do because we implicitly understand the fundamentals of grinding coffee. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. from start to finish, that's amazing. Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's great. right. Well, thanks, Ross, for the explanation, mate. That's amazing. Really appreciate your time. And while you're here, you've got to try the cannoli. It was made today, brought in from Sicily today. I'm telling you it's that good. I love coffee, but I love cannoli. I've had three. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, everybody. Ross. So what an amazing factory. So clean, so precise and well organised. And you've got to be that way to be able to produce such a great product that we get to enjoy to make our coffee beautiful. Uh, and all these products around the world uh, making specialty coffee. So really honoured to be able to see it, enjoy it, and uh, yeah, it's just, you know, we don't sort of see this side that often. Hopefully that's helped you get a bit of a glimpse as to why we choose that Anfin product a lot uh, for our coffee, uh, the quality control, and all of the, uh, the team here just seems so fantastic and committed to making great coffee grinders. So thanks so much, Hemro, for your hospitality. It's been amazing being able to uh, have this experience. Thank you very much for you guys. Thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified when we put up our latest video. Cheers, guys. We'll catch you next time. Yeah,